A daughter who gets raised by a narcissistic mother goes through the most horrible experiences ever known to mankind. There, I said it. That might sound an exaggeration, but ask these daughters who were demonized, sexualized, objectified, cornered, humiliated, isolated, manipulated, belittled for being who they are who were made to feel small within because the mother always wanted to feel bigger than them. The mother saw them as a rival. The mother competed with them as if they were a second wife of their husband. These daughters have survived a living, breathing hell whose fire was not perishable. The fire that kept burning them even after leaving such a demoness. The relationship between such a mother and her daughter is extremely complicated because as a daughter, you never get to experience any maternal love. You feel like you were created out of thin air. You just landed here. There was no one to hold you. There was no one to nurture you. The roles were reversed and the traumatization happened that left you without a proper self. You never got to experience proper developmental process and you felt stuck and you might be struggling with the same which is why i have decided to create a series on a narcissistic mother and her daughter the relationship between them this is the first part of the series and in this part we're going to talk about how a narcissistic mother sees her daughter as a rival how she competes with her Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do not want to miss any parts of the series that I'm creating on uh, the topic of the narcissistic mother and her daughter, please make sure that you're subscribed. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button now and also press the bell icon to stay updated with everything that I post over here. As I said in the beginning of this video, a narcissistic mother sees her daughter as a rival, someone she has to compete against always, right from the beginning, right from her birth. And to prove that to you, I'll be talking about three things such a mother does and how that impacts your developmental process as a daughter. The first thing is she isolates you from the family, especially the other caretaker. Now, we already know that a narcissistic parent sees you as an extension of yours, which simply means you are an object of gratification. They created to get their egoistic needs met. That is a, the simplest way to put it. What she does is she recognizes the relationship that you're creating with, let's say, your father or your grandparents or your siblings, and that burns her inside out. Because first, she wants to have you all for herself. And second, she cannot stand the fact that everybody is paying attention to you and she is being isolated. Because she cannot stand your happiness. She can't see you getting all that attention from others and uh, being seen as this important person and a part of the family. She attacks that out of her jealousy and animosity against you. The first thing that she does is she makes the family go through a systematic process of manipulation to see you as a rebel, as an outcast who needs to be driven away. She isolates you thoroughly so that you can rely on her as the only source of support you have in your life. And then she can dangle that to keep driving you crazy. She makes it seem like her husband, your father, the other caretaker, is her father at least that is what is being projected at a subconscious level and you are her sibling and that leads to the reenactment of two types of traumas one the father wound that she has the second is the sibling rivalry the comparison that was always there the competition for attention she experienced in her family of origin which is not to say her actions are justified or were okay because she has her own trauma of course not she also had a free will and a choice to change her life but she didn't 
So anytime you try to get close to him, she comes in between, she puts you down. If she's a covert narcissist, then she will become the ultimate victim, the ultimate martyr. She'll start crying out of no reason. There is chaos, there is conflict, there is passive aggression. If she is an overt narcissist, she may pass comments that are derogatory, that are inappropriate. You may not be able to make sense of those things that she says about your relationship with your father. All of this is done to induce shame in you so that you feel extremely uncomfortable in having a connection with anybody else. To make you feel small in yourself, she constantly compares you with others, either verbally or through her behavior. She may pick another child and make them the golden child and then switch the roles. She makes it seem like everything is performance-based. It is transactional. If you do something for her, then and only you will get love back. If you please her, if you kiss her behind, if you just always say yes and never say no, if you do not express your needs at all, if you do not focus on your individualization, you will be rewarded and taken care of. Otherwise, you will be abandoned. If you just do not follow her rules, no, you can't exist. And she'll make everybody think you are too big of a deal, you're, you're a troublemaker, you're too sensitive, you always have problems, you are the enemy of the family, you bring disgrace to the family, and she will destroy your self-esteem, your self-concept, your confidence. She will not let you have a self, she will never let you individuate because that is a big threat to her, which we will talk more about in point second. The second point is the most painful one. She cannot see you stepping into womanhood. No, she cannot. She cannot see your physical development. Of course not, because she wants all that youth for herself. As you transition from being a child into being a teenager, she is killed by the fact that you are becoming pretty. You are finding yourself. You are spending some time with a mirror, you're exploring your body. She cannot stand the fact that you're getting attention from the opposite gender or the gender that you're interested in. Of course not. It has to be her. You belong to her. So somehow you need to give that beauty, that youth, that prettiness to her. But because that is impossible, so she does the obvious. She manifests that animosity, that hatred towards you, and then tries to destroy you, not only belittle you, of course not, destroy you at a physical level by passing extremely inappropriate comments, by degrading you, putting you down con continuously, by not letting you get in touch with yourself, by not letting you know who you are and what you're becoming. The stage of puberty, which is uh, by nature very stressful, for a person to go through, she makes it a nightmare. Not a day passes without you crying and cursing the day you were born. You always, always wonder, what have I done to get this kind of treatment from my mother? And then you absorb that like a sponge, you internalize that treatment, and that is where this low self-worth, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, all of the deficits you have been struggling with come from. To understand how this looks like, let's watch a short movie clip from the movie Mommy Dearest. Mommy? What do you think you're doing? Nothing, Mommy. I was just, just playing. What do you mean, playing? <laughs> Pulling through my things? Making fun of me? I wasn't making fun of you. I was just trying to... I was acting. Play acting. Like you're always doing. What are you doing? 
don't you oh, tell mommy, me what don't. I'm doing. Don't tell me. Don't. Oh, no. <laughs> mommy, I look awful. Yeah, I know you look awful. <laughs> you be quiet. You're always rummaging through my drawers, trying to find a way to make people look at you. Why are you always looking at yourself in the mirror? Why are you doing that? Tell me. You sit still now. This ought to teach you. You're vain. Mommy, I can't go like I'd rather you go bald to school than looking like a tramp. This is the kind of suffering such daughters have to go through. They never get to explore themselves because the rage oozes out of such a mother. It may not be as overt as this movie clip, but the impact is always the same. The unfortunate fact is, as a daughter of such a mother, you start dissociating from your body. We call it somatic dissociation. That is when your brain wants to make your body invisible and it mitigates by disconnecting you from the awareness of it and that is also one of the origins of extreme weight gain the disruption of metabolic rate and various metabolic processes this may sound shocking but it is the truth if we look at the repercussions of this kind of behavior the impact is always devastating Instead of teaching you simple ways to take care of your hygiene, to take care of your body, gracefully accept womanhood and how to be who you are, she belittles you, puts you down, objectifies you, points out bizarre and unforgiving things until you just start hating yourself and thinking maybe, wow, I'm, I'm such a burden, I'm so unhygienic, I'm so bad, I don't know how to look, I don't know how to be, I don't know how to behave, I don't know how to carry my body. And those insecurities then you carry to your adulthood. And unfortunately, when you meet these narcissistic men or women, they trigger the similar kind of wounds and similar trauma patterns. And you end up in relationships that are tumultuous. Her extreme insecurities, jealousy, animosity, and hatred towards you do not let you to fully develop, do not let you free yourself from the bondages she herself is stuck in. And as a result of that, you do not know how to trust in yourself because she never taught you how to do that. If you have been subjected to this kind of horrible abuse, go what or over, my heart goes out to you. Drop your, your experiences in the comments below and see how many people will connect with you and resonate with you because you are not alone in any of this. Point number three, she steals your partners, boyfriends or girlfriends, friends, anybody who wants to associate themselves with you, she wants them to notice her. Because whenever you have a partner, whenever you start a relationship, platonic or romantic, she cannot stand the fact that it's not about her. One, she has to be the center of your life. And two, for her to feel better about her, self she has to get every single person who comes in your life because she is jealous of the fact and deeply insecure that you're better than her so she has to steal them away she may first try to love bomb them and charm them into believing she is a wonderful great mother and uh, this new person should be connected with her more than you and ultimately brainwash them into believing you are nothing but a piece of trash they need to leave you you are nothing but a disappointment or you are going to betray them you are going to abandon them the way you abandoned your mother and so on this is how crazy uh, the jealousy of such a mother is and not only that she even sometimes sleeps with your partner would you believe that and when you confront her about the same she will just justify it somehow the justification won't make any sense but the recipient of the blame would be you it was because of you it was because this 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 was missing in our relationship your relationship with your partner so this happened and that happened 
they are quite shameless. I always say they do not have a working moral compass and their conscience is dead. This is the proof. A narcissistic mother can stoop to any level to bring you down, which in itself is the proof of the fact that you're way better than her. She wants you to believe otherwise, but no. The fact is, you're way better than her. Not in a narcissistic way, in a real way because you have empathy. You are a completely different person than who she is and that is what you should be proud of. In conclusion, such a mother is completely devoid of motherhood. She doesn't see you as a daughter that she should nourish, but as an enemy she should perish. She wants to take over you because she feels inferior and that is the truth. She is way inferior. She wants to destroy your relationships with others, starting with your relationship with your father who may himself be a narcissist or quite passive or they might enable the narcissistic mother. But that is where it begins and then it continues to your adulthood relationships. She never stands your youth because she can't have it, she can't take it away from you. So what does she ultimately do? She destroys it. Her focus is you focusing on her. That's it. She, your, your life has to be about her. If it is not, then you are committing an unforgivable crime in her eyes. Having that said, I'm really curious to know what you would like me to talk about in the next part of this series. Drop your suggestions in the comments below and I'll soon come up with another episode adding a lot more to the series on the relationship between a narcissistic mother and her daughter. With that, let's bring this episode to end. Thank you so much for staying with me. I'll talk with you in the next one. Until then, as always, let the healing begin and continue.